Good day, everybody. My name is Dana Masson, and today I'm going to be doing a healing meditation with you with the intention of returning to our natural state of being, of divinity, of peace, of empowerment. And through this healing, we will release any attachments, any negative thoughts, any programming that is limiting us, any attachments, entities, negative energies that we've picked up along our journey. So I first want to start by picking by random three guides that I'm going to have join us into this meditation. So I'm going to pick from a couple different decks. I have some decks from Doreen Virtue and from Kyle Gray. So here's our first guide that we're going to call in, Gaia. Our second guide, Mott. And just begin to focus on your breath already, feeling your breath moving up and down and connecting to your inner peace through your breath. Feeling your thoughts drifting away, your mind quieting. And then our third guide, Baba J. <clears throat> so what I want you to do is lighten your gaze or close your eyes and just use my voice as your guide. Feeling your breath moving all the way down to your belly, almost reaching your sacrum your tailbone, and feeling your breath moving all the way up to your crown. And I'm first, I'm going to call in Mott. Mott is a wonderful guide of balancing the scales and showing you what still needs to be worked on in your belief systems, in your relationships and bringing everything back into balance. So we're going to call Mod forth. Mod, we call you forth for your healing, your wisdom. As Mod steps through, maybe you see specific colors, sacred geometry, or the qualities of Mod. Maybe you're feeling that around you. I want you to enter your mental space just slightly kind of just edging into your mental space and think about the negative thoughts that maybe you didn't even notice that you were telling yourself these belief systems that you were telling yourself i'm not worth that this is as far as i'm going to get in this relationship in this career i am not worth that i am not lovable I don't think I can ever be that happy again. Life is limiting. So just breathe into these beliefs, into these thoughts. And as you're breathing, feel them almost releasing from your physical and just entering your field, sitting in your field. And this is part of honoring your experience and your journey. We don't want to avoid or suppress these thoughts and beliefs. We want to give them attention and awareness so we can heal. What is the core of these beliefs? What are feeding these thoughts? So just allow them to float up and in a sense, bowing to them. I honor you. I hear you. And I want you to feel Mott's energy kind of blanketing right on top of your crown, blanketing these thoughts, these negative thoughts, these limiting beliefs.
Now, sometimes what is feeding these negative thoughts are the people that you're surrounding yourself with or the experiences you keep engaging in. Or maybe you've picked up an attachment and entity along the way, or maybe it's always been with you, but maybe more quiet, and now it's becoming louder. I'm feeling the presence of Archangel Michael coming into this healing meditation, so I'm going to honor that and go with it. I want you to feel Archangel Michael working on your spine. And Archangel Michael is releasing any entities, negative attachments, and healing any injured DNA, any injured cells or fluids. Feeling your back, feeling like a pressure on your back, but also a lightness taking place as these entities and attachments are being released from you. Whatever was feeding the negativity in your life is now being released. Again, still focusing on your breath. A full breath moving up and down your spine. And I want you to feel Matt's energy lifting up, rising up, taking all of those negative beliefs and thoughts and patterns and memories, lifting them completely out of your energetic field, no longer attached to you. And as that is taking place, Baba J is stepping forth. And I want you to feel and visualize this violet light shining above you, shining down upon you, entering your crown and slowly moving through your entire being. This violet light is raising your vibration. And returning you to your truth, to your divinity. Feeling your heart expanding and feeling that warmth in your heart. Feeling a sense of completion with the work that Archangel Michael is doing. He now steps back and surrounds you in sacred loving healing space with his large wingspan. Now I want you to again edge into your heart and your mental space at the same time and begin to think about the qualities, the energies, the feelings, the emotions that you want to experience more in your life. Whether it's as simple as experiencing more joy in your life or if it's you're ready to reach the next level of your career or calling forth more grace and harmony in your relationships. Whatever it is, I want you to feel that in your cells and your heart. And kind of in this moment, experience right now as it's already here, as you're already in that life of abundant joy. Your career has already rose into that next level. Feel it in your cells right now. <clears throat> and as you're feeling this energy, this vibration taking over, I want you to feel Gaia wrapping her wonderful roots around your roots, your legs, your feet. And slowly her blue and green roots are traveling up your legs, traveling through your stomach, your arms, all the way up to your crown. And what's happening right now is she is grounding this vibration, this frequency into your cells, into your energetic field, claiming that this is your state of being right now. Your vibration has already risen 100 levels, 1,000 levels. Your vibration is a perfect match to divine, to source right now. She is claiming that for you. 
And as you focus on your breath, claim that as your truth right now. Stay into this meditation as long as you desire and return to this meditation. Whenever you're feeling low or you're feeling a sense of lack of empowerment, that you feel like you've lost yourself. Anytime you're offbeat, return to this meditation and you will rise again. Namaste.